static and non-static modifiers. Static is a modifier added to an attribute and method using the static keyword. Here we have an attribute and a method. To make this attribute static, after the access modifier, we add the static keyword. Same thing for the method, we add the static keyword after the access modifier. Without the static keyword, an attribute and method is non-static. In the UML class diagram, static is notated by underlining the attribute or method. So here we have a class, we just underline this attribute. Same thing for the method. Just underline the method. Underline means static. So the value of a static attribute is the same value across all subclasses and instances. So here we have a diagram. We have a superclass called customer that contains interest rate and it's got an initial value of 0.2. The child classes will inherit this class and will be passed down to their instances or objects. Okay, so these are instances. So as of now, interest rate is non-static. So this means the child classes can have their own value for this attribute. Now, if we make this attribute static, then the interest rate will be fixed at 0.2 for all subclasses and instances. They will all have 0.24 interest rate. So now, if the interest rate is supposed to be the same for everyone, we can make that attribute static. And every time we make changes to that value, the subclasses and instances will also have that updated value. Static only allows one instance of an attribute. This means the value of a static attribute is the same value across all subclasses and instances. I'm going to create a class and call it class A. And then I'm going to define a method inside this class. I'm going to say void method A. But notice that this method is non-static. We'll try to call this method in the main method of the main class. I'm going to say class A dot method a and now we are gonna get an error it's gonna say non-static method method a cannot be referenced from to successfully call a non-static method we need to instantiate its class first let's do that class a i'm just gonna call it a new class a and then from the object a will be able to reference to that method. I'm going to erase this. This time, let's make the method static. So we don't have an access modifier for this method. So before the return type, I can add the static keyword. So now, in the main method, we can directly reference to the class A and access method A. Another good example are your math class and your scanner class. The math class will allow you to use its methods without instantiating math itself. I'm going to declare a double variable and I'm going to use the math class. Math at pow. I say 4 and 5. We are able to reference to a method that belongs to a class called math without instantiating math. So that means that this method is a static method. Now let's try the scanner class. And we're going to use scanner that next line. So now it's going to give us an error. First, let's import the package for scanner. And now we're, we're still going to get an error. We try to build and run because we need to instantiate scanner first before we can reference to any of its methods scanner sc equals new scanner system that in 
And now we're going to use its object, SC, to access the next line method. Let's open up the math class. So highlight the math class, right click, navigate, go to source. It's going to open its source code. I'm going to look for the POW method. As you can see, this method is a static method which allows us to reference to it directly without having to instantiate its class, which is the math class. A static method can be called without the need for an instance of its class.